30 days 30 days if you like you could totally send a donation saying congratulations i support trina medicine and i will use these donations to make more investments into my personal business of trina medicine i am called to purchase more combo that's going to be 150 for a new stick from the Amazon. There's a shippy bow cloth that I'm really interested in. I'm kind of putting together a package. There's some feather earrings. There's a lot of different things I'm calling in. I have added this book called Messages from the Body to my Amazon wish list. And there's also healing sound tools I've added. And I've just been accumulating this list, like trying to figure out what do I really want for Christmas, you know? It's been kind of chaotic lately. And uh, this has kind of just been a little bit of distraction. And yes, truthfully, a little bit of seeking outside of myself. However, sometimes these things are just the things that keep me going, you know, seeing that there's something to work towards, something to keep doing. And um, I'm getting ready to also have my own Cambo ceremony on myself again, a 12th ceremony. And um, I'm very excited. I'm very, very, very excited. I'm certainly wondering if it's going to fall upon another full moon or what what to do. It's just a divine process. I'm currently on my way right now to Casadega. Very, very, very excited to be of service. There's nothing that makes me happier than being of service. For me, it's been a, it's been a struggle to say the very least throughout all of this I've been cleaning up a lot of emotional energy for others and um, when I say that it means like like I'm an empath if you don't know what that means it means like I can take your pain and feel your pain in my body and I'll be able to tell you like what's this pain underneath your left nipple <laughs> you know I'm like what's going on in here why does it feel like your throat is closing down is something taking away your voice? Are you possessed by entities? Do you feel like there's a dark negative presence in your home? You know, I'm extremely transparent and some people really don't like me because I'm transparent and fruitfully, you could say I do what's called meddling. You know, I put myself in your business, even if you're not commissioning me for my service and sometimes I can't help it. This is just genuinely who I am. I don't do this just for the money. I really sincerely love what I do. And I will give, give, give. However, Trina is learning boundaries. Meaning, number one, don't give advice if it isn't being asked for. Number two, having you check internally instead of you asking me. Let's ask you, what do you think the best thing for you to do is? Number three, if I'm not being paid, if I'm not being commissioned, maybe I shouldn't be engaging and doing business and doing my work and listening and spending my life, my time, my energy to serve you, to listen to you, to take away your pain, to help you work through your trauma. If you're gonna try to say that's, you're supposed to be my friend, that's manipulative, you are using me. There needs to be an equal energetic exchange, okay? For example, let's say you feed me. Equal energetic exchange, I feed you. You feel me? So if I'm taking away all your pain, understand? And I'm transmuting it. Can you not give me $5? Right? Right? I'm gonna need some, some salt. <laughs> some Epsom salt, right? To cleanse myself after working with this intense energy. If you're an alcoholic and you just won't stop drinking, what do you think that does to me? Do you think that I should be taking this abuse, this energy for free? No way. That's not a friend. That's not a friend. Friends don't abuse friends. You understand? I'm here to be your friend, your sister. Sister. Okay? Sister. We are in this together. So as I heal myself and work on myself, the more that I can bring the planet. However, if you are taking me away from my sadhana, my spiritual practice, then who are you hurting? Are you only hurting Trina or are you hurting the whole planet? It's important that you see the whole planet as your family. This is a big message of Trina Medicine. So if you get anything out of this free content today, please attempt to meditate and see where the resistance is. 
Is there somebody disabled that you want to beat up and that you just can't take their energy and you're tired of being caregiver? See yourself as this person. Perhaps they turn themselves into a vegetable from doing so many drugs and alcohol. Have compassion. How would you want to be treated after you made such a mistake and got yourself in this position? Okay? Have compassion. And then notice how you treat the other is how it will come back to you. Newton, even in physics, this spiritual law is acknowledged as equal and opposite reaction. In other words, what you shine comes back to you tenfold. The law of karma or lex talinus, the law of retribution. I have been also on the pursuit of pursuing kundalini yoga. I have recently discovered an amazing teacher called Nam Shakti. And we have picked up a spiritual name for me through the 3HO.org. And my name is Jai Prithpal. So if you like, you can look it up, Jai Prithpal, and see what it means. It really resonated with me to the point where I wanted to cry. And I've been pursuing more studies of listening to darshans of my Bapaji, also known as Swami Kripalu. I love Swami Kripalu. I have so many books of Swami Kripalu. And it is my dream to open up a healing facility. And in this healing facility to allow individuals to have access to my personal library. And I have collected quite some amazing books. Some of them were $100. And... For some of you, maybe that does, that's nothing. Just for me, that was a lot back then. And still, if you understand how much I am making now. Okay? So, understand this. And just know that I am so rich. And I do not mean money as much as I mean as this santosha, this contentment within me from doing this inner work, this inner journey. And I have many things to say to sacred plant medicines, such as psilocybin, hachuma, ayahuasca, DMT, LSD. These are just some things that really helped me break away at the self and completely tear myself apart. And rebuild myself and I'll be honest there was a lot of times where it's like oh my god what did I get myself into I don't know if I should have did this and I by all means do not encourage you to do these sacred plant medicines however I am interested in becoming a psychedelic integration coach so I am calling in funding of doing that and I'm also calling in funding to become a doctorate in metaphysics even though there are some people who will not take serious me being a doctor in metaphysics. Um, however, for me, it's more so I would really love to learn what they are teaching. And then I'm also calling in going to acupuncture school. And I recognize all the things I'm going to have to do. However, I'm taking it one day at a time. I recently got my first ticket for speeding. So I'm dealing with that too. And um, that has been crushing. However, I felt like it was necessary for me to get the message from God, universe, Gaia, Pachamama, that um, I need to slow down. I really need to slow down. And honestly, if I had to be more honest, I didn't get the message when I got it. Does that make sense? Like, it was a warning. I had a chance to see the symbolism and I gave in to my urges, my animalistic desire, and then I can only blame Trina. And instead of blaming Trina and beating her up and hurting her and punishing her, instead of having to witness her and reparent her and to show her love and affection, I have also noticed that there are times when people are like begging for my attention, my energy, my affection, and they have no conscious awareness of where I am at. And Trina struggles with boundaries so much that sometimes Trina turns into a very defensive animal attempting to have self-preservation and protect herself. And this at times has been really humiliating because Trina thinks that she is on her path of being a yogi while also being a member of society. And then when I, she, when Trina witnesses herself 
Brie becoming the past Trina that was aggressive and dominant and controlling and manipulative. Trina is like disappointed in Trina. And it's, it's humbling. It's humbling to witness myself. I'm thankful for those of you who are creating a space for me, allowing me to receive what I'm calling in. And I don't mean that you're giving me millions of dollars, <laughs> right? Not like that. Instead, just hold a prayer and intention. Lord, if this is in the highest, best interests of the universe, please give Trina permission. You know what I mean? I have been shown this beautiful property that makes me cry and so emotional. And I have shared with those closest to me my dream, my vision. I've been calling in funding. It would be like $3,000 a month. And honestly, I do not choose to have the responsibility of having that in my name and having to manage the bills. Trina just wants to have fun and do her healing artwork. She wants to paint the place and decorate and bring feng shui and bring in all these different healers, all these different energies, and to build the place. However, Trina wishes that her dream is that it's her place. Does that make sense? Like, treat it like it's Trina's house. And where Trina says things go, they go. And then just like somebody else is just managing all the money, managing the spending, you know? And just like giving Trina full reign though to like plant seeds, grow sunflowers, do this, do that, name the place. And like I'm open to them being like executive or whatever, you know, like co-creator and give me ideas. Just Trina needs to have the freedom to like explore and learn the hard way and like have her first establishment. However, she may need the assistance of having like a family and those who are in co-creation. There has also been dreams of like tag teaming at this facility with like bed and breakfasts and other people who might be interested in easily bringing funding together. However, I'm not interested in sharing my exact vision and every tiny detail of the place without there being some type of like, you know, agreement that makes Trina feel safe that it's going to be honored 100%. 100%. And there's so many different healing modalities. This is where Trina Medicine would be birthed. And I would love to have that place be a place where women can give birth in bathtubs. You feel me? Like bring back natural birth. Bring back the death process where we have a place where people can go home to the other side. Instead of putting you in some like, you know, special home. That this is a place where you get like a family to take care of you and that people have compassion and understanding for who you are. Perhaps you are one of those people who are in the process of transitioning over and that you would be interested in doing that. Perhaps you have some type of retirement and perhaps like this is something you can give back to the planet that lives here in your name forever and ever. And maybe we can put like a bench in your name that says sit and talk a while and that you are planted there. And we plant plants on top of your grave, you know? I'm not sure the legalities of actually planting, you know, somebody that's not in a casket inside the ground. However, I do believe in washing the bodies of the deceased and all these things that are just forgotten. And Trina has a big dream of like bringing this stuff back. And there's so many people that only like think about money. And I just know that this place isn't meant to be like that. And my fantasy would be that it would be non-profit, that people wouldn't be obligated to pay. I used to have a fantasy that their payment would have to be that they leave their phone or their computer. Maybe they get it back when they leave, you know? But like the intent that that's the payment, you get it? But they have to disconnect. So I had all these fantasies and all these dreams and I'm totally okay if like somebody steals like some of the things that I've already stated, right? Like honestly, cause partially Trina just wants to see this done. At the same time, Trina wants to create like more than anything, more than anything, you know? So I'm calling that in and I have so many different dreams and visions and different people I would bring there. Like my shaman, Jose, oh my gosh, Jose, I wanna bring Jose and have him do his sound healing, have him build sacred fire and burn his copa and bring in his people, bring in Chip, Xavier, all my people, all my family. A Meg, Lee, 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 Lee. You too, dude, I want you stomping on the ground. <laughs> yes yes I like to have drum circles I have like all these visions and just honestly I would like this just to be the first does that make sense the first 
meaning I would like to have many establishments like this. I'd love to open up shops and malls and have like little tiny places that like maybe like a kiosk or something that advertises this and maybe we burn gopa or have like, you know, different intentions. And um, yeah, man, I need investors, man. <laughs> At the same time, like, there's like so many trust issues. People have been so betrayed, so they feel like they can't trust me or they can't trust anyone. And just know that like, I am constantly investing in the world, you know? And um, all I can do is encourage you to plant more seeds, literally seeds, like grow more trees, buy a tree, plant it in your yard if you own land, please. Show it love. Put your back up against that tree and let it take away any negative energy. Kiss the tree. Hug the tree, right? Talk to it. It's a living organism. You can see, hear the sound of plants. Look up on YouTube right now, the sound of a sunflower. Our girl makes music with plants. That is also a total bucket list of mine. Please get me in the studio with a girl like that and then let the girl, like, let me touch the plants and make the music, you know? Like, oh my God, and can we like video journal the whole thing? And can I have like my dream husband next to me, like totally filming me, holding his hand, pulling him everywhere. We can do the hashtag follow me too. I don't know if you've ever seen that photography of that gentleman, follow me too, oh my God. It's like his girl pulling him everywhere. That's like the fantasy and the dream. I, I, I just got sent a song right when I'm talking about that. Like dream partner, what are the chances? What are the chances, God, I could cry? I could cry, I love you so much, ZTM, so much. There's nobody in this planet I love more than you. And Papi, I love you so much too. And my mother and my brother. Just, I'm so grateful, so grateful. I'm like, ah, it's unbelievable. Like, there's so clearly a divine presence in the universe, like working in this really fantastic way. And, Again, Santosha, Santosha, Santosha. This contentment, contentment is true happiness, not that freaking bliss or instant gratification or feeding off of physical needs. When we are feeding off of physical needs, we are seeking outside of ourselves. So those of you who are so thirsty and yearning for that sex, that physical connection, I hope that you realize that that is not what you're really calling in. <laughs> you want release, emotional, mental, physical release and frankly tantra tantra comes to mind for you and fruitfully i would love to study more about tantra i am so open and like i feel like all this energetic release that needs to come out of me too with the right person right so maybe we can call in a tantra person in florida that is like in harmony and resonance with me or maybe Namshaki has some connections. I'm also very excited to see Mara, my Ayakashe. <sighs> I love my people so much and I love Florida so much and I just love the whole universe so much and I'm, I'm open. And part of me is just apagraha, releasing complete like non-attachment. So instead of me fighting with others to get this property, all I can do is leave a space and a prayer and say, my Lord, Jesus Christ, ascended masters, my heart is here. I feel the energy that's there. I would love to take a tour. Oh my God, can I just go inside and walk around? Can we at least do that? <laughs> Can I make music in there? Like, I have so many dreams. Can I live there temporarily with my cat <laughs> and build it into the healing facility that I dream on? Can I paint and bring in interior designers and do like wall borders? I have all these different things. Oh my God, I see a Jesus fish. And all I can think about is um, Varney. Varney, my boss or manager or gentleman at Casa Dega, um, my brother, Reverend. Um, Varney taught me that back in the day you would draw on the sand half of the fish and if you drew the rest of the fish then you knew who had heard the good news 
I want to cry and I don't fully know why I just feel all this emotional energy talking about Jesus the Christ and I feel Mother Mary's presence and I'm just really really blessed and I understand there's so many of you that don't believe, which is why I have been offering my services for free for you to feel the different energies. I can do my work remotely. I do not need to talk to you. And I'm thinking about doing some videos of just that. Like, okay, today we're going to do a video with Moldavite and I'm going to channel you Moldavite energy. And all you have to do is be here. I'm also gonna call in the light beings and they're going to speak their light language. And we're just gonna hold a space for them to send these transfers. Can you feel some of them happening right now? Perhaps some of you have resistance and fears of the unseen world. However, I had a discussion with my friend the other day about how they believe that every time CERN like does the hydroparticle collider or whatever, that another universe is made and we clash with that universe. And I was like, whoa, that's a really cool thought. <laughs> you know. We have to notice that this thought is just a thought and this feeling is just a feeling. I've learned the hard way not to act on those impulsive urges. I'm sharing with you my personal journey, this humility and this struggle and this sometimes toxic energy so that you can see and witness so that you do not have this experience, that you have the experience through being in the experience through with me and that you and your children do not have to go through these things. I like the idea of giving permission for someone to write a book I would love to write a book. You want to co-write a book together? Like, let's do it. You do all the work, I'll tell the stories. <laughs> I'm a storyteller by heart. Um, my makeup also, by the way, is inspired by Nam Shakti. Um, no more mascara, just eyeshadow and some lip stuff. I've also been guided to make purchases at the Casadega Bookstore. I've been doing a lot of purchases through the business, you know, calling in this energy so my library is available to anyone who sits and has session with me. I've also thought about possibly just opening up the mini shop at the flea market or something like that. However, there's also something that's like, eh, you know, Trina wants something bigger than that. And like, also like, I do not need like my library robbed, you know what I mean? <laughs> like. My books mean a lot to me. Like some people are like, nobody wants your stupid book, right? And I'm like, but I paid $10 for this book and I really like this book. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> man. In Florida, you know, our minimum wage, I don't know if it's still this, but it was like $8.25. So some of you that have that $15 an hour stuff, you know, Man, you don't know how good you got it, especially you got time and a half every once in a while. I would encourage you to save. Pretend like you're making Florida money, man. And honestly, if I had to be more honest, it's very possible that our entire money system is going to collapse. And that like this illusion of putting your money into silver is just hogwash, okay? Because you wanna know what's really valuable? The trees, you wanna know why? Because they provide oxygen, okay? I don't think that breathing in CO2 is good for you. Okay, so when you're wearing your mask, you're breathing in, it does not seem good to me. I'm like, like go lay in the trees, like right, there's tons of little forests, so just go lay down. Is it too cold? Then like, you know, put on extra jackets and a beanie and a scarf and then go lay down. Lay down, yeah, I definitely encourage lay down. Head on the ground. Your body's gonna wanna go into automatic posture. This is why I love to have in-person sessions. And this is why I'm open to do donation based because the more people that do, excuse me, that does, or the more people that do this inner work, the more that we all benefit, you understand? A lot of my teachings came from Amrit Desai. I would not have gone to Amrit Desai's Amrit Institute out in what I like to call Alachua. However, I don't think that's Alachua. I think it counts as Salt Springs. And um, however, I have been to the High Krishna Temple and I have been to Temple of the Universe, which is also another beautiful place. Um, however, I'm not called to like own that place you know uh, I, I definitely think I found my first place and um, it's a it's a big giant dream and honestly if I don't have people who have faith that I can accomplish this big mission and people that are supportive of me like running this facility and instead are like jealous or hateful or manipulative or like power and control you know what I mean like that's sick <laughs> sick <laughs> you make me sick <laughs> That's a quote from like this crazy stalker that I once had, by the way. 
Yeah, I've, I've been through it all, man. I've been through it all. Maybe not at all, just like I like to stay with what I've been through. And um, I've talked a lot about the rape energy and those things. And I'd love to open up a little bit more deeper for those who need me to have that talk. And I'm willing to set up like dates and times that I go live if you'd like to have like a live interview and share energy. Now, if you're looking for underwater stuff, I'm thinking I'll be, I'll still be creating that stuff. However, it might be like on um, like fans only, like, or Patreon or something like that. I haven't really decided my vortex. I have enjoyed OnlyFans. However, part of me is just done with that. So part of me thought about just doing like free through YouTube. The problem with YouTube though is like I get I get taken advantage of a lot. So I'm still trying to find my boundaries. And um, I'm in the process of also building a website. So if anybody knows anything about building websites to the point where you can teach me how to do it myself instead of trying to take advantage of me, and like an opportunity of making some money, you know, maybe we could like negotiate where like I send some money in exchange for you teaching me, you know, I'm open to that. However, like maybe like after the fact, if that makes sense, like I'm good for it, you know what I mean? But like I have to actually learn from you, you know what I mean? I don't wanna be like codependent. That's important to me. So I have to go. I have so much work to do. I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. I hope that you enjoyed this talk. And again, if you're interested, you can send something, send a dollar saying thanks for all the videos that you watched of mine and that you benefited from my high positive energy or please just leave a little note of just like, you know, like, why are you thankful that I exist? And maybe put a little money towards that. And just know that, again, I'll be using this money to, like, invest into the future, to invest in education, to support small businesses, and not to just be a dragon who sits on gold, because that is excessively against my moral code, okay? And I do believe that saving is very important at the same time.